In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, the now infamous Oscars blunder. First, some backstory about how I came across this blunder. So I was watching the beginning of the Oscars, but you know, I have a job, I had to wake up the next morning, so I was laying in bed as it was finishing up, just kind of following Twitter to see who won Best Picture. So I'm refreshing Twitter, all of a sudden I see a bunch of tweets that La La Land had won. So I'm like, all right, sweet, now I know, go to bed. Wake up the next morning, driving into work, and the radio says La La Land had won. So I was like, yep, I know. Cool. I go all day without talking about it, without hearing anything, and I get home, it's like 6 p.m. the next day, and all of a sudden I go on Twitter, and I'm starting to see these memes and jokes about how Moonlight had actually won. I was like, okay, what's, what's going on here? Do a little research, and lo and behold, Moonlight had actually won. Now the reason I think this is today's one good thing is how everybody handled the situation. The guy who presented it, I think his name was Warren Beatty, you could tell how uncomfortable he was presenting it because he knew something was up. However, <laughs> if you were in his position, I think you would have done the exact same thing. You're given a card to read off, everyone's waiting on you, and he actually turns to the lady next to him and she reads off La La Land, and then they give their acceptance speech. And then you know what happens after that. We lost, by the way, but, you know. You know. Guys, guys, I'm sorry. No, there's a, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. The first good thing that I noticed was how the director of La La Land, the bald dude, I don't know his name, how he handled it. He handled it super professionally and with the utmost class, and he's like, I'm going to be proud to hand this award to my friends at Moonlight. I I'm going to be really proud to hand this to my friends from Moonlight. That's nice of you. That's very nice. Now, if you've been working for something your entire life, and finally your goals had come to fruition, your dreams had come true, and you'd already given your acceptance speech at the Oscars, and then someone told you you actually hadn't won, I don't think too many people could have handled it as professionally as he did. So, good work, bald dude. You're cool. And then after the show, when Emma Stone, the redhead, I think that's her name, I'm not super good with actors and actresses and whatnot, but when she was interviewed about it, she seemed genuinely happy for the people of Moonlight and wasn't at all salty. God, I love Moonlight so much. I am so excited for Moonlight. Good work, Emma Stone and everyone involved. Another reason why this is a good thing is because of all the free publicity. I had no interest in seeing Moonlight. I hadn't even heard of it until this thing blew up. I had no interest in seeing La La Land. Now because of this controversy or this gaff, I suddenly have an interest in seeing both movies. Obviously after every award show, there's probably a big bump in ticket sales to each movie, but I'd be curious to see if there's even a bigger bump this year because of all this publicity. Maybe it was staged. Maybe they planned this. So that's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.